Catalina here um, and today I'm gonna be talking about something that it's not fun um, if you have been keeping up with my Instagram and here on my YouTube with my videos um, my husband and I need to go through IVF in order to conceive um, our first son and now we're doing it again uh, for baby number two and I just want to show you how um, I do the progesterone shots and I need to do that on a first round and now on the second round and I feel like there are a few tips that I would like to share if you are going through the same thing that really helped me to go through because it's a lot of days with a lot of shots, a lot of pain and um, if there's anything that you can take from this video that will make your life a little easier and less painful um, that's all I want now to actually do the shot itself I do recommend you going to freedommedteach.com it's freedommedteach.com Freedom Fertility Pharmacy it's one of the specialty pharmacies that um, some IVF uh, places use um, in order to you know to order the medication and freedom they have videos and they do have all the videos how to administrate shots so for you know preparing and administration the sh uh, administrating the shot itself I definitely recommend it's a very easy it's like a not even five minute video it's four minutes 50 seconds video and um, and really quick so the shots need to be applied on the it's like we call the muffin top you know on the back um, so it's that little petty part on top of your booty and my first tip if you are doing you know estrogen shots is if you're smaller like I am um, ask your nurse if you can use a smaller needle um, so I got these, shipped it to me, and that's what I was doing. The, the same needle that came with the syringe is what I was using to do the shots. And it was extremely painful. That was in the first round. It was extremely painful. I was like, I would drag like getting these shots and it was awful 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 this is a good needle if you know have because you need it's intramuscular so we really need to go in the um, the progesterone and you know you might need this which is fine but if you're in a smaller size ask your nurse if you can use a smaller needle the one that I use is a 22 G1. I just want you to see the difference. So look at this. Can you see? I mean, it's in a little, you know, safe thing. But um, the size of the needle is, so, it's like, it's huge. The difference is absolutely huge. And this one came with 22, one and a half. So it's literally like half of an inch smaller, which is pretty big difference when it comes to something like this going into your body if you can if you're in a smaller size do that um, and then you put in a sharps collector you know after you're done well I'm gonna throw the big one because we're not gonna use it and I'm gonna put this little one here get ready for tomorrow yay <laughs> tip number two is before you get all set up and not ready and do the shots ice the area you might have read or heard of about that before to ice you know ice the area that you were doing um but these are the best ice packs i never heard of like what ice packs should i use so i've done different ones you know i've used whatever i had in my freezer and i saved that i've done like the peas you know because it can mold to your body but this time around i was like no i just wanted something that is really good and it's going to be good for my skin it's not going to burn me so these ice packs i bought on amazon i am going to put the link down below and it's um they're called ice wraps gel packs um it's actually a gel and even after they are frozen you can still mold it so when you put 
on the area you literally like hugs your body and the one thing that I like is that on the other side because you know you can see like this is the clear but on this side it's a little fabric so it protects your skin from getting uh, cold burns which is nice like ice burns we do our shots in the morning and then when I wake up I go downstairs, make friend coffee, and meanwhile, you know, I just need to stick this under my underwear, or you can put under your um, your pants, whatever, um, to hold it in place. And I do what I need. And by the time that I'm ready taking my shot, my skin is numb. <laughs> and I again, like with the small needle, the smaller needle, I barely feel anything when it goes in. The other thing that I do as I am icing is to warm up my progesterone oil because the progesterone that you're going to use comes in an oil form like this um, and then you need to, you know, draw with the syringe. Um, do not put it in a microwave, do not put it in hot water or anything like that. That's not what I do. I would literally... <laughs> Ah, it's so much information. So I would literally like if I'm, you know, am I saying because you switch sides every day, you know, you alternate left and right. So I literally like if I'm doing the right cheek on one day, I'm putting this one like on the front by my underwear too. So like just hold against your body or if I'm wearing a bra for some reason, I'll just stick in it and it warms it up. This way I have both hands and I can do things. I mean, if you're just chilling at home, if you don't have a baby yet, if you don't have a dog that goes nuts in the morning, good, you can just like chill on the bed while you get iced and you just hold this. That's what I used to do last year, but this year I don't really have a choice. So um, just hold it for, I don't know, like both icing and warming up, warming up the oil, I don't know, five minutes, I think. Or something like that that should do it you know the only thing is that after you do the shot the oil is gonna go into this really cold area so somehow it's gonna get cold again and if you don't be careful it's gonna get clumpy so that air is gonna get clumpy right now because I haven't really had a chance to work on the area after I have the shot, the shot, um, it's really bad. It's really bruised. I mean, it doesn't hurt when it when Frank does the shot um, or anything, but it doesn't look good at all, at all. And um, so, what you can do if you think you can, like if you have time and if you have the opportunity, these same ice packs you can put in a microwave. So you can do 10 seconds at a time and it's gonna get nice and warm. You just put it back on your area and massage it. This way helps the oil to just dissolve and diffuse into your body and you're not gonna get less clumpy. Last year, I did not have these, but I had a those warming, you know, electrical warming pads. So I would literally just turn this on, on high, and I'll put on that area and just massage it, you know, laying down. Don't forget your gauze um, for after the shot, after you pull out the syringe um, and the little band-aids. Frank has these really fun band-aids and you cannot see the color. And every day is a different one. This one is black, <laughs> but it's like a sports version. And they are nice because they are like... I can't even explain. They're not plasticky. They're more fabric, sort of. And um, they just feel better against clothes and they're very easy to take off. So maybe I'll find the link for these ones too and I'll post down below because, you know, if you're looking for a better um, band aid than you have at home or that they send to you, um, go for these. These are awesome. And the other thing is that when Frank um, does the shots for me when he applies a shot um he doesn't count he just cleans it and just goes for it <laughs> this way i'm not like one two three oh my gosh this is now i just just relax and i don't even count oh one more tip um last year because again we had no toddlers um I used to do the shots on the bed, so I would just be laying down and he would apply the shot. This year, just for safety, if he's in bed, because he sleeps on his crib or, or you know, always, but uh, when he wakes up, I usually bring him to bed with me for, you know, 
for a little bit before we go downstairs. And just in case if he's awake or if he moves, you know, I'm not moving and Frank's trying to do the shot and then can be tragedy. Uh, I've been standing up. If I'm doing the shots on the right side, on the shot on the right side, I put all my weight on the left leg and leave the right leg a little lump, you know, so it's not doesn't stress the area. And I literally stand. I literally like stand like this. And he does the shot. And um that has worked has worked really well. I actually think it hurts less. So if you are doing the shots laying down because you can get, I don't know, more comfortable or whatever, try to do it standing up a few times. Um, he's a little more awkward because he needs to be like bent a little bit, but I think he hurts less. I know it's because when you're doing it down, you know, downwards, like you're putting more pressure on it, but it definitely hurts less if you're on a horizontal. So but that's it. So if you're going through this, I hope you know you can use one of these uh, let me know if you try it if it works or if you have a friend that is going through this um, hopefully these tips are gonna make their progesterone shots a little easier and if you're going through it again good luck um, I wish you all a successful IVF journey and thanks for watching <laughs>